tired of waiting on that Grim Reaper for the Undine fusion? <laughs> well, wait no longer, guys. What's up, guys? It's your Motivational Gamer, and this weekend is a secret dungeon that's actually worth it. Uh, this weekend brings Hemos, the Water Grim Reaper, and we're going to talk about Hemos here in just a second. Uh, show you guys a little bit of a demo, talk about his skills, a bit about his multipliers, and why he'll be good for your box. But before we do, guys, I just wanted to take a second and say thank you. Uh, the things not to do in Summoner's War video, um, you know, I I got the idea, I created it because I wanted to get, you know, more of the community involved. And so we could help people avoid, uh, you know, the mistakes that we made starting out as beginning Summoner's War players. So maybe they could see it and, and maybe your comment can, you know, help affect change in someone's life and help them for the better. So I just wanted to reach out personally and say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, we're almost at 200 likes, a bunch of shares, 99 comments. Um, it's 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 going exactly as planned, so that's good, guys. Uh, again, like the opportunity to help players is great because uh, just understand that you guys are essentially saving people money and time and frustration uh, that they otherwise would have experienced if it wasn't for uh, the help and support of you guys. So thank you. Uh, so without further ado, guys, let's talk about Hemos. So Hemos is actually really good. So other than the fact that his speed is low as hell, um, for good reason, for good re good measure though, he's he's really, 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 really good. Probably uh, one of my top 10, like, top 10 underrated units, I would have to say. Um, but Hemos, the Watergrim Reaper, He's got some ability. So, his first skill, Grim Scythe, reaps the life of an enemy with a deadly scythe. Uh, he acquires additional turn if the enemy dies. If I'm going to show you guys in combat here first. Uh, uh, not in, not here first, but I'm going to talk about his skills here first and then show you guys what he looks like in combat so you guys can see it. Uh, the reason why I'm not talking about the skills while he's in combat because my head is so big. You know, it's like this big old like toaster oven head. So, like, when I start combat and I click the skills, like... My big old body and my head is just like covering the buttons. <laughs> so I'm going over the skills right now. Um, but yeah, so his first skill has like a, has a really nice multiplier. I'll talk about the multipliers here in just a second. Which you guys can find at summonersward.wikia.com. And um, yeah, so he acquires an additional turn if the enemy dies. So that lets you know right off the gate that he's going to be relatively good as a farmer. If you guys decide to use him as a farmer. If you do decide to use him as a farmer though... Make sure that you you give him a little bit of speed so he has an advantage because otherwise him being a combination of squishy and slow, even though he can deal a lot of damage, can put you guys in a tough pickle. Okay, so his second skill spreads a plague to all enemies with an 80% chance to inflict continuous damage for two turns. So two effects for two turns. Really, really good. So think basically water version of Beretta. Except the only difference is, is his second skill doesn't proc any damage. So I'm not for sure if it actually can proc despair effects. Um, I'm going to be testing him on despair um, later. So I'll let you guys know if the second skill procs despair. Or if you guys already have tested him on despair and it does not work, let me know in the comments below. Um, and then his third skill uh, decreases the enemy's attack speed with freezing chills for three turns. And freezes the enemy for one turn. So ultimately he has a really really good kit. Some nice CC. And looking at his skills overall. Both of his 5 turn cooldowns reduce to a 3 turn cooldown. Which is huge. And that lets me know that on 3 turns he's definitely very 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 viable on a violent build. Uh, just because you want to maximize his turn efficiency. And what that's going to give you guys an opportunity to do. Let's go ahead and start him in combat. Is it's going to give an opportunity for him to shine in PvE circumstances. So again a couple of ways that you can build this particular unit. If you guys want to use him. Is you can build them as a, a pure support. So, uh, you, if you guys have not seen the support video, you know you can build them like a speed HP def uh, video with a lot of HP, a lot of defense, lot, you know, lots of speed. So that way, you know, he's just in combat, and you're basically, you know, pimp, pimping him out. You're using him for his second skill, so he can deal a lot of cons damage, as you guys just saw here on the video. Um, or if you guys want to build them as a damage build, sort of like a farmer or like a primary water damage unit, uh, let's say for your dragons team or something. Um, that's something that you can look at as well, uh, build on like an attack crit damage attack build or speed crit damage attack build, something like that, um, in terms of using him 
um, you know, basically as your attacker or a farmer. Uh, in this video, I don't have any runes on him at all, <laughs> so that's that's why he just died on normal. So so don't don't use that as any indicator as uh, you know how how the unit performs. But overall, in terms of what he brings to the table, he's a really really good unit. Uh, not only that, but he's going to be used for the water and the infusion. So for those of you who have been um, pesky, you know, like excuse me, uh, forcefully like avoiding him because you didn't want to spend the 800 guild points because 800 guild points is quite a bit. Uh, especially for a three star uh, you guys will have that opportunity this weekend uh, So make sure you guys capitalize and take advantage of that whether you're just gonna farm one for fusion Or if you're gonna farm multiple to build an actual unit uh, if you guys want to see this unit more in action I am actually gonna full-fledged build this guy uh, I'll, I will probably make him a six star uh, and be running some tests for him just because he also has a 30% attack increase for water damage units and I've been looking for another uh, attack uh, water attack lead. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. So if you guys learned something or this helps you guys make a decision, definitely drop this video a like. Uh, if you didn't like it for you know whatever reason or you didn't learn anything at all, give it a thumbs down. But if that's the case, please let me know why so we can continue to make the content better guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting the content. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.